Hi, this is Lon from Mahalo.com, and I'm going to show you how to maximize your profits on We Rule for the iPad. Now, if you really want to grow your kingdom in We Rule quickly, you want to think about how to start maximizing your profits. That means how to get the most value out of your purchases and how to get the most value out of the time that it's taking things to grow. So it can be pretty complicated. NG Moco's made a lot of different kinds of plants you can grow and a lot of different kinds of businesses you can buy, and all of them have different values. So you want to really think about how much you're spending and how much time it's costing you in order to harvest those plants or in order to get your money out out of those buildings. So let's take a look. Here I've got some open farms and I can click on one and I can see what kind of product I want to plant there. And you'll see that every different kind of plant, it has a different amount that it costs me to plant it and then it has a different amount of money that I'll get and experience points that I'll get out of planting it and then it has a different amount of time that it takes to harvest. Now some of the most effective kinds of crops that you can plant are called magic crops. You can see here magic cauliflower. That cost me 700 gold coins to plant, which is very expensive. I can only afford it if I already have saved up a lot of money. However, look here. It sells for 2,000 gold coins every time I harvest it. That's a profit of 1,300 gold coins every time it harvests. And look here, it harvests in 12 hours. So twice a day, I can earn 1,300 gold coins. That's 2,600 gold coins in a single day. That's way more profit than I could make even from planting all sorts of other plants that are much cheaper. For example, look at watermelon. Watermelon only cost me 75 gold coins to plant, but I only make 375 gold coins when I harvest it. That's only 300 gold coins in profit, way less than magic cauliflower. And take a look at this. It takes me 16 hours four hours more than it takes with magic cauliflower to grow the same crop. So if I want to maximize my revenue, it obviously makes more sense to plant magic cauliflower than it does with watermelon. And you can use those same kinds of calculations with every single kind of plant. For example, let's take a look at cotton. Cotton I plant for 100 gold coins and then it sells for 500. So I make a profit of 400 gold coins every time I harvest it and it takes a full day. So compare 2,600 gold coins that I'd earn for planting magic cauliflower versus only 400 in a day I'd earn for cotton. Obviously the choice is clear. It makes more sense to plant cauliflower in order to maximize my efficiency. Now I can do this for every single kind of building that there is in the game. For example, let's take a look at a tailor shop. A tailor shop is going to pay me 200 experience points and 100 gold coins every time I sell the clothes. You can see I earn them right there. Now that same tailor shop only cost me 500 gold coins to buy. That means that if I harvest it, if I sell the clothes 15 times, I'm already making a profit plus the 20 experience points that I earn every single time. And it only takes one day for it to earn. So that's a very powerful building and it makes sense to buy a lot of different tailor shops as opposed to other places like a cheese shop which cost me 9,000 gold coins to buy and it only earns me money every day and a half. So that there's all sorts of different buildings and you want to be taking these kinds of calculations into account. Now in our opinion here at Mahalo, there's four kinds of businesses that are the most efficient for you to buy. There's the tailor shop, which I already mentioned, and then there are the orange and ruby grows, which we'll look at in a minute, and then there's a windmill. Windmills are very cheap to buy. It only costs 6,000 gold coins to buy a windmill, and you get 48 experience points and 300 gold coins every time that you uh, sell the grain from your windmill, which happens every two days. So it really makes a lot of sense, if you're thinking about it, to go plant a lot of windmills and earn all of those experience points and all of those coins every single time. By comparison, uh, all, the tailor shop only gets you 100 gold coins, and most other businesses are going to pay off even less than that. Now let's take a look at an orange grove. It's the same deal. An orange grove costs 3,000 gold coins to plant. Kind of expensive, but it matures every six hours, so I can harvest my oranges every six hours. And if you take a look here when I harvest it, I'm going to earn 50 experience points and five gold coins for every harvest. So that's really going to pay off in experience points. In, a, in one standard day, I'm going to earn 30, oh, sorry. In one standard day, I'm going to earn 200 experience points just from that one orange grove, which is going to make it probably the most single efficient kind of plant that I can put in to my kingdom. This has been Mahalo.com. If you'd like to learn more about We Rule, click on any of these links.